but hey, welcome back to another fire, fire, fire tutorial, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to do an aerial, aka a no-handed cartwheel in 2021. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. First up, you want to make sure you got a good cartwheel, right? A cartwheel is one of these right here. Bye -bye. All you're doing is, you're going left, right, right, left. Okay, that's the rhythm. You can bend your legs a little bit for beginners, right? It's not going to be straight if you don't know how to cartwheel. It's okay, you probably going to look like this. I'll say, that's all right, that's fine. Whatever your cartwheel looks like, the aerial will resemble that, right? You don't have to have a perfect cartwheel to do an aerial, but it's better if you master that first, right? It's the same thing, just no hands, right? So, boom. Left hand, right? Then you got your right hand. You're just going to go left, kick off with this right leg, boom, catch, bing, boom, right? Step two, now that you got your cartwheel looking nice, you want to master the one-handed cartwheel, which is one of these right here. Nice! The more momentum you use, the less upper body strength that you have to use. So make sure when you're doing your cartwheels, you try to use as much speed as you can get. Let me show you, right? So boom, right? Right? Use as much speed as you can get because the aerial happens fast. So get a fast cartwheel. All you're doing to get more speed, right? You're revving it back and you whip it as fast as you can, right? You could start off with bent arms and then extend as soon as your arms touch the floor. Let me show you, right? So I'm starting off bent so I can get down quicker. And as soon as I get up, boom, I extend my hands for explosive power, right? Because when your body's bent up, you can move faster. If it's all like this, it's going to be hard for you to whip it. Now, let me show you when my arms fully extended. Watch. I still got power, but it requires a lot more energy. So you're going prep. Nice and clean. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing me, right? So, one more time. Left hand, start off bent, and then when you touch the floor, that's when you extend, right? So watch. Nice and clean, y'all. All right, step three. You want to try to delay your flip, right? So watch what I mean by that. When I say delay, that means when you go for the flip, you're going to jump first, like doing a half aerial, and then touch the floor, right? So slow, it looks like this. You see how I go first? It's like I'm doing a half aerial, right? So I'm going, boom. Okay? Half aerial. So the thing you want to do with this, this trains you to get half of the motion down, right? The other half is all commitment, right? So to do a proper aerial, ladies and gentlemen, you want to make sure your elbows is tucked in. That's why I said when you're going for the cartwheel, your hands are tucked in so you can get as much speed as possible, right? So if I'm doing that, I'm going boom. And when I'm here, I'm exploding off of this left leg. I'm going really hard, boom, right? So I'm going to go boom, ha, and try to catch myself late, right? And try to catch it later and later and later every time. So for you guys, this is what it's going to look like first, okay? That's a little late, you know what I'm saying? But then it gets better, right? You start down, come up here, make sure you're going like this, that's your prep. So you're going here, up, boom. One more time, prep, down, all that energy going straight into that aerial, right? So you're going up, boom. You see that? That's serious, my boy, that's serious. One more time, right? You want to try to do it as late as you can. So this is me trying to do it late. See that? Held that joint for like a second, a good second. One more time, right? Just want to keep doing that. If you need more of a push, you can actually start by just going jump. See that? Makes a really big difference. So you can actually start with a jump instead of going straight into it. Now you want to try to do it with one hand, right? Delay it with one hand. So you're going to use your left hand to land, right? So here we go. Same principle. Prep. And when you go for it, go from down here. Explode. As if you're doing a real aerial, right? So you're going here. Come down. Ridiculous power. Ridiculous, right? So, one more time. Boom. Fast. It's all about momentum, guys. Momentum and form. Go in here. You prep. This is where you get all your powers from. When you squat. Boom. And you're going to shoot straight up. Use every muscle in your joints, right? So again, you're going, boom. Ah, come on now. So what you want to do now is try to go for the aerial, right? The same thing applies. You want to use both your hands, 
Look at how I am tucked, right? I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna explode. If I feel like I'm about to fall, I'm gonna catch myself with my hands. That's how you train it, right? But you have to commit. The delay is half of the commitment. So when you delay it, you already know you could go halfway. You wanna try to delay it as much as possible. That's all the aerial is, right? You just move. Where's the delay? It's gone. Here we go. Five, six, prep. Seven, eight. Calm, right? That's an aerial. So standing is a lot harder because you gotta take all your energy with no extra jump prep, right? It kinda prepares you mentally when you jump and go into it. Now watch. I gotta find the energy somewhere else. I'm gonna come this way. All the energy is coming from here. And I'm using my arms too, right? So this is your prep. One, two. Okay? It's a lot harder when you do it like that. It's a lot harder when you just do a standing aerial with no rev up, right? I like to do it when you jump first and then go into it because it gives me more time to prepare and use more energy when I'm about to spring up. So remember guys, the three most important things, right? Have a perfect cartwheel, okay? The better your cartwheel, the better your aerial, right? Second thing, have a good one-handed cartwheel. Left hand, looking solid, right? Third thing, when you want to do the aerial, ladies and gentlemen, make sure when you generate your momentum, your arm is tucked in first, and then you spring out, right? You got to try your hardest to delay the flip as much as possible, right? So when you're first going for it, you're going to try to do a delay. What I mean by that is putting your hands down really late, right? So you go for it, hold it, no cap, right? And then the third step is you put everything together, Use your momentum, do not go slow, because if you go slow, you're gonna go halfway and done. You're finished, right? Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do a backflip tutorial next. You know what I'm saying? Or if I should do something else, let me know, guys. Make sure to drop a like, comment below to vibe, it's a movie, and make sure to subscribe and turn on the post notification. I love you guys, and let's get to it.